Welcome back to the channel. So I received a comment asking if we can use Zscaler, something like standard scaler from sklearn to address the skewness in our data. Let's say we have data with exponential decay or some log normal distribution. And rather than just answering the question, I want to make a quick video demonstrating the impact of trying to Zscale skew data and how we can fix the skew and still scale our data. So what I've got here is a quick notebook where I'm generating some skewed data using the np.random exponential with a scale of two and a thousand data points. And what I'm gonna do is scale that data using the standard scaler from sklearn. And they're gonna plot the original data and the skewed data. We're gonna plot the histogram of both so we can see the impact of the skew before and after zscaling. When we do that, we can see that the original data is skewed here. This is what that exponential decay looks like when we plot the histogram and I'm plotting the mean, which is just shy of two and this red line. When we Z scale the data, the data shape still is there. We, we still have this exponential decay, but we have now the mean set to zero. And this is really what Z scaling does. It sets the mean of your data to zero and gives us a standard scale of one. And so here's the original mean. Here is the now Z scaled mean value for this data set. And so we have not addressed the skew. If we want to do that, we can include other transformers like np.log to actually help to normalize the data. So I'm going to generate the skew data again using np.random exponential. We're going to log transform the data using np.log and pass our skew data there. And then we're going to also add our Z scaler, our standard scaler, and then use that to transform the log transform data. So we're now addressing the skew and now normalizing the scale, adjusting the scale to have a mean of zero. And I'm gonna plot all three of these so that you can see the impact of these transformations on our data set here. When we do that, in the leftmost panel, we have our original skew data. This is what I showed earlier. We now have our logged transform data. So the mean is not quite zero, it's probably around one or between 0 0.5 and one. But we see we've addressed the large skewness that was present before. And now when we Z scale this log transform data, our mean is approximately zero, our standard deviation is approximately one, and we've addressed the skew. So this is how we can begin combining transformers to address both the intensity variation and the skewness of the data to improve our measurement analyses or improve whatever models we might build off of this data. So Z-scaling alone doesn't address the skew, but you can combine it with other transformers to both address the skewness and the scaling of your data. If you found this video helpful, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.